Longtime viewers of my channel know my complicated history with Sour Patch Kids. It began when I ate their candy during my movie commentaries. I'm hungry for a Sour Patch Kid. Okay, that's enough. And I proclaim them the best movie candy. Silently. I don't think I ever said that, but it was a silent thought. I gave them so much free promotion. There was a time when people would draw fan art of me, and there was always Sour Patch Kids incorporated into the fan art. I was synonymous with this candy. Unprompted, many of you reached out to Sour Patch Kids and said, hey, you should sponsor this guy. This guy. And Sour Patch Kids said no. Bitch. They didn't say bitch. I inferred that. I was reading between the lines. It was there. Between the N and the O, there was a bitch in the middle. And that was me. I was the bitch. Then a little something funny happened. This came in the mail. Oh, ignore this part. Uh, long story. Actually, it's not really that long. I just wanted to redeem my award, my silver play button award, for Dylan will not participate. Unfortunately, that channel is apparently too many letters to put on an award. Dylan will not participate. It's a lot of letters, I get it, but I earned that award. So I had to shorten it to DWNP. But then I realized I could just type anything in there probably and get away with it. And so when the time came to redeem this bad boy, Ooga Booga came into my mind. And just for the last week, I've been like Ooga Booga for no reason. So I decided to put Ooga Booga on my award, thereby defacing probably the most prestigious award that I'll ever receive. Was it worth it? Absolutely. My whole channel is based on my stupidity. It's nice to have an award that memorializes it, you know? Side note, I'll put a link in the description for the Ooga Booga channel. I'm gonna start a channel called Ooga Booga. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I know that because I said it in this video, someone's gonna steal it if I don't do it myself. So go subscribe to that channel that'll have no content and may not have any content for a little bit. But when it drops, when something drops on that channel, you'll be the first to know about it. Anyways, back to the Sour Patch Saga. As soon as I hit a million subscribers, Sour Patch thinks, oh, this guy might be a little bit relevant. Let's send him a PR package. As you'll notice, it's opened. Why? Because there's no signage anywhere on the box. You know, back when Sour Patch was sending care packages to YouTubers and TikTokers even, and not me, you guys sent me a video of Markiplier receiving a Sour Patch care package. Sour Patch himself decided to send me a present. And that package had a lot of effort put into it. They printed the patch people on the thing. So when I get this random brown box, I'm like, what could this be? I had to open it up to find out what it was. Strike one patch. Strike two. All, look at all this fluff. You know how like chip bags do that where it's like 30% chip and 70% air? That's what Sour Patch tried to do to me. They're like, oh, look at this big box we sent you. And then they stuff it full of air. Let me read the letter. Hi, Dylan. Welcome to the patch. To the patch. We couldn't be more excited to have you join. That's, wow. That is a very culty introduction. Since you're new here, we had to include some of our favorites in your own very own... Ooh, fucking reading is hard. Oh my god. Since you're new here, we had to include some of our favorite in your very own Dylan is in trouble starter pack. A shirt to rep your favorite candy. Oh yeah, I'm sure I'll wear that shirt a lot. A beanie to keep your head warm. Thank god, because it gets really cold in Phoenix, Arizona, the coldest place in the continental United States. And of course, your favorite blue Sour Patch Kids. We think five pounds should do it. Five pounds? Woo! They gave me a, a small baby worth of candy. So the next time you're rewatching a cringe movie, I for one loved Cats. The musical Cats. You loved? Don't say that, Sour Patch Kids. You cannot admit to that. So the next time you're rewatching a cringe movie, rooting for all the wrong things to happen, or catching up on the latest internet drama, you'll have us as a friend through it all. Do I talk about internet drama? <laughs> Your friends, the Sour Patch Kids. Oh, the kids are my friends. Wait. Am I eating my friends when I eat Sour Patch Kids? It should say your friends at the Sour Patch Kids. P.S. As excited as you are and inclined as you may be to share your thoughts with your friends and followers on social media, yeah, I get this. We'll send you a PR package, wink, wink. You don't have to post about it, wink, wink. So if you do post about something we sent you, just let them know that it was a gift from your friends at- Yeah, I get it. Oh, more air. Oh, thank you, Sour Patch Kids. As they said, this is not sponsored. I don't have to say nice things about them. So that's nice for me. Uh, oh, some, some Sour Patch Kids socks. Okay. Okay. 
Nice little coupon code on the socks. All right, these are horrible. <laughs> but like, I'm, I might be judging too early. Oh, I gotta keep my feet off screen. I'm not trying to get no foot fetish thing going on here. The amount of people I still get being like, hey, you selling pictures of your feet? Yes, but for a price, okay? Maybe that's what Ooga Booga will be. It'll be just feet content. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah. Oh, hey. That's not bad. It's very thin though. Like a couple slides uh, across hard floors and they're gonna be holes in the bottom of this, guaranteed. Very thin socks. Molds to my feet. I have, a, I have a very curvy arch here. I'm a man of curves. It's just not in places you would expect. I'm very flat in this range, but my feet and my fingers, look at this thumb curve. You think that I would get curvy in other places, but no, nope, just on my feet and my hands. I gotta get these socks off because it is so hot. I say that wearing a sweatshirt. I understand my hypocrisy. All right, we got a shirt and a B. Oh no. It's got one of these little doodlers on top. <laughs> I'll put this on in a minute. Let me let me take care of this shirt. Oh God. Oh, it's like a retro 1985 lightning ad. Were you even invented back then? Sour Patch Babies back then, huh? Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Sour Patch Kids on the back. Should I put it on? They didn't pay me. I'll try it on later. If they had paid me, I would consider it. This is, this doesn't feel like five pounds. How much air did you put in here, Sour Patch Kids? Ah, how do you open these things? Ha, you seal it too tight. Ah. They asked me what my favorite color was, and I said blue. There's no way that they send me all blue, though. <laughs> you know, now that I'm like lifting it, that feels like five pounds. That shakes my floor when I drop it. You know what, this is great because I was so pissed at Sour Patch Kids for not sponsoring me that I boycotted them. I was taking this to another level. In fact, you might have seen in my most recent video in the Toy Story video, I, I knew Sour Patch was gonna be trying to make amends. So I whipped out for old time's sake, I whipped out a bag. Unfortunately, I'd been boycotted for so long that um, the bag had expired. Uh, nine months ago, so uh, the candy wasn't the greatest. Andy's toys. All right, everyone, you're clear. I gotta get fresh ones. I ate two of these Sour Patch Kids, and I feel horrible. Okay. What? Why? Sour, sour, Sour Patch Kids. See, first they're sour. You can't even get the thing open. And then they're supposed to be sweet. Just like our relationship. <laughs> okay, listen, let's let's address it while we're here. I've said some not so great things about Sour Patch Kids after they decided not to sponsor me. Um, I don't remember what those things are. I just remember them being pretty harsh. And I remember specifically throwing certain things in the garbage. Um, I don't stand by the views and opinions that uh, that past Dylan had. Although if if you guys can't figure out your bag situation, what does that say about your company? I can't I can't open this. What am I supposed to do? Look, this this is sealed tight. And the the the, the rips are too high on your bag. You need lower rips. Sour patch kids. I could teach you so much. If you had come to me a year ago, all the people that buy five pound bags of sour patch kids wouldn't be having this problem. Ah! Whoo! I know what Steve Irwin feels like now. Wrestling alligators. I brushed my teeth right before I sh started shooting today. Ah! 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 I broke my light. Sour Pouch Kids and toothpaste do not mix. I'm also really full because I just ate a full meal. All right, I guess we try this on then. I feel like a loser. If you wanted to see the back, there's the back. No wonder Sour Patch Kids won't sponsor me. I'm putting their dumbass merch on for free. For absolutely no money. Do you know do you know what this consists of? Sugar and chemicals. This whole five pound bag probably costed them like three dollars to produce. This shirt, you couldn't pay people to wear this shirts. This whole box, less than ten dollars. And for less than ten dollars, I'm about to put 
this beanie on my head. It is so hot. Oh, Sour Patch Burp. You know my favorite thing about this hat is this little doofus thing up here. You know? As I sit here uh, with the Sour Patch shirts and a Sour Patch hat on my head, five pounds of death sitting in front of me. You eat, you eat these five pounds, you will die. I ate five Sour Patch Kids and I feel it right now. I mean, my God. Any food that you drop and it rattles your floors, not a good sign. It is too dense. Look, I can grab fistfuls of this stuff. What's going on here, Sour Patch Kids? That was like 30. Tastes like a hundred chews in order to be swallowable. Sour Patch Kids, I know we've had a rocky history. But that is your way. You chose not to sponsor me. But I will let bygones be bygones because first you were sour and now you are sweet. Well, I wouldn't call this sweet. I'd call this manipulating me, but... Sorry, I had to get some fucking patch out of my teeth. I will have to decline your invitation to join your cults. Ah, uh, cults aren't for me. At least not being a leader. I think I will be a cult leader at some point in my life. It's just an aspiration. I'm not saying I'm going to do it. I'm just saying that I'm gonna try. Ooga booga. Speaking of which, maybe that'll be the cult channel. <laughs> Since this is kind of baked into this video, thank you for getting me to a million subscribers. And thank you for allowing me to be an idiot. And thank you for not judging me for putting ooga booga on this award because it was really dumb. So thank you. You're not judging me. Thank you for not doing that. I know you're not. Don't do it. I don't have to say that because I know you're not. And now that Dylan will not participate is dead, Ooga Booga will officially be my second channel. They'll be the only two channels I have. Speaking of dead, I'll probably eat some more of these tonight if you don't hear from me for a while. Uh, probably food coma or just a medical coma from the, the congestedness of my intestines. This stuff doesn't digest very well. I just, for a fact, I know that. Legally, I think I have to say I don't know that for a fact. I just have a really strong hunch. It smells great though. It smells like cotton candy. Sour Patch Kids, if you ever want some marketing ideas, I think every time you eat one, you should design them in a way where the first time you bite down on a Sour Patch Kid, it screams. So it feels like you're eating like a real human being. Really capture that cannibal market, you know? I'm just throwing it out there. Just giving you a close up with the shirt here. It uh, looks like this. And on the back, it looks like this. Is this is this shirt something that you'd want to wear? Tell me in the comment section. Sour Patch Kids, thank you so much for sending me this gift basket. I promise you I'll probably never wear any of this in public. I'm gonna be embarrassed anytime someone screenshots this video and posts it anywhere in the future. And I have you to thank for that. And what did I receive in return? Five pounds, five pounds of candy that it's gonna take me probably three years to eat, but it'll expire before then and it'll make me sick. It's all the troublemakers out there. Thank you so much for your continued support. I think Sour Patch Kids only wanted to sponsor me because of your fervent hounding of Sour Patch, the brand. That poor marketing intern who had to answer those DMs of you guys saying sponsor this motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, goodbye.